by in the Capitol with more on the significance of this agreement. Kevin. Well, you know, Todd, this really gives Nunavut the ability to map its economic destiny. I mean, so right now, of course, as the government is calling it, this will be a, a devolution agreement. And that's already happened in other territories like the Yukon Territory and Northwest Territories. Uh, and it does give power and control as well as accountability to the territory for, you know, what is now crown land federally controlled in Nunavut will then become territorial land. And what that allows is for things like mining or oil and gas production or other natural resources. Uh, at that point in time, the rules are really set by the territory instead of asking Ottawa for permission. So this means that there's an expectation that Nunavut will, will be able to get more tax and royalty revenue into its coffers. So certainly a way that it can uh, you know, control or boost its economic future. Uh, now, at the same time, uh, you know, that this signing ceremony is going on, of course, the Prime Minister will be doing this with the Premier of Nunavut. Uh, there are some major uh, asks that Nunavut still has of the federal government, and a lot of those are financial. And so uh, some of that has to do with a growing population that uh, the territory is dealing with right now. And so there's opportunities, but also challenges there. Housing and water, chief among them. So along with this signing agreement that does, you know, give more control, uh, ability for self-determination for uh, the Inuit, who of course are the majority of the uh, more than 36,000 thousand people that live in this territory. Uh, there are also uh, an ongoing conversation relationship that the territory will have to have with Ottawa when it comes to funding certain projects. Let's talk about the reaction, Kevin, as well, that we're getting from uh, some community members uh, in the territory to this news. What are you hearing? What are you seeing? Well, certainly this is something that has been in the works for a while. When Nunavut became a territory in 1999, uh, this was always something that was set out. It was going to take time, uh, and it's going to take time to set up. In 2019, it was signed in principle under then Crown and Indigenous Relations, Relations Minister Carolyn Bennett. Uh, and what the big challenge here will be, uh, the amount of employees that are currently federal employees will now have to move over to the territorial side. It, of course, gives a lot more control um, and really uh, that connection that uh, many Inuit have to that land, it is now under territorial control. So it's not only, uh, you know, an economic windfall, but I think a very big symbolic uh, step forward for many of the people that are living within that territory. Kevin Gallagher in Ottawa. Thanks for this, Kevin. Appreciate it. And we are expecting